Now, your local weather authority with Chief Meteorologist Jesse Walker. Welcome back, everybody. Here's a live look with our Great Proposed Building Cam. Still got the rain across the area, so just slow down out there. The roads are going to be wet. We're going to be losing this rain pretty quickly as it starts to move out of the area. Now, northwest of here, they've got snow. As a matter of fact, just northwest of our area, these are winter weather advisories, winter storm warnings, and still in portions of Iowa, a blizzard warning. So it's a big storm coming through the area, but for us, we're on the warm side of it. Speaking of the warm side of it, not going to stay warm very long. We've been talking about this for a while. The Arctic air is on the way. There's good, it's going to come in two waves. First wave is going to come with an Arctic front Saturday evening. That will generate a little bit of some snow and then sub-zero wind chills as we get into the day Sunday. The second surge looks like it's going to be much more potent. That will come in late into the week, into the following weekend. So the bottom line is once we hit Saturday, from Saturday on through all of next week, we're talking about some really cold air moving in. As a matter of fact, this is just a general idea. These are projected wind chills for about the I-70 area. If you're north of there, it'll be colder. South, not quite as cold at 7 a.m. each day. So Sunday, we're talking 14 below, near zero Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Then that second surge I talked about, wind chills of at least 10 below on Thursday and Friday, and probably at least that, if not colder, that following weekend. So you got the idea. A good stretch of some cold weather is on the way. Don't forget about the pets, of course, also because of this cold weather that's headed our way. Temperature-wise today, we hit 37 for the high. 30 has been our low for the day so far. Rainfall, we picked up 0.37 so far, and we're going to get a little bit more before it all starts to taper off this evening. Sunrise, sunset tomorrow, 10 hours and 23 minutes. We've gained exactly an hour of daylight, by the way, from late December when we were down to 9.23, and we're now 10.23, so an extra hour of daylight. And the river stage in Terre Haute, 5.4. It's on the way up. Right now at the airport in Terre Haute, we're 38, humidity high. Winds are southwest, but that's going to change to the west shortly. And look at the pressure, very low, 2946, strong low pressure moving right over the area. Temperatures pretty much in the 30s here, but there's colder weather to the west, and that's what's going to be moving in. That colder air will filter in this evening, but it's also somewhat drier air, so it'll shut off the rain. So you can kind of see the rain is falling across the area now. Of course, <clears throat> north of here, it's all in the form of snow, but we're mostly rain, although we started out as a mix, some sleet and some snow, but we've gone to all rain. On the back side of this, there may be a brief period where we see a few snowflakes, but you can see the back edge of the rain already moving into our western county. So it won't take long for that to push out of here. I'd say by 9 or 10 o'clock, everything's gone. Here's about 9.30, long gone, so it's not going to last a whole lot longer. Tomorrow looks dry, other than maybe some snow flurries around. Now, as we get into the day Saturday, remember I talked about two surges of cold. The first one's going to come in on Saturday night, so that Arctic front comes in. These Arctic fronts are usually pretty good at generating a little bit of some snow. So there's Saturday evening. That's the front coming. Coming in with some light snow with that. That'll pass on through. Then we get some really cold air for Sunday. And then after that, there's another front with more snow possible by next Monday, Tuesday. And behind that, even colder air looks like it'll be arriving as we head into late next week. So this very active weather pattern is going to continue. You can see the cold to the north dropping down into this area. And again, this is basically the first surge of the cold. There'll be more cold that follows that as we head into late next week. You can see it right there. So get ready. Plenty of cold weather is on the way. Forecast looks like this for tonight. Then temperatures will drop off some as the rain starts to end. 21 for the low. During the day tomorrow, 36, but it'll be windy. It won't feel that warm. After that, some light snow Saturday. Much colder next week. As a matter of fact, we're being generous when we're saying four and three for lows. It could be sub-zero next week. That's your forecast. Sports right after the break.